Camp Troops, aka Kamal Squad. You already know who it is. It's me, Cameron Armani. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I want y'all to drop down in the comment section below what class are you taking right now at Full Sail University? What month are you on? But this video is month 17, part two, which is Fundamentals of Physical Science. Yes, I said part two because part one is a different class you're going to be taking this month, which is a full four week class as well. That was location line. It's going to be the first link down in the description. I got my PC over here. I got the HDMI link to my TV so we can get a better view. And then I got my MacBook here. Let's get right into so week guys, one. I do have two ungraded assignments because week four is not up for me until November 22nd. I just turned in my assignments early. But as of right now, I have a 95.48. I am on track of passing this class. So I'm not really worried about it. So what you're getting started, you have your meet your instructor, your syllabus. You have a quiz about your syllabus, which was six questions. It was only 2% of your grade. I got 100 on that. 10% professionalism. Go ahead and mark that as complete. We know how that works. And then you have something teach you about scientific notation, which is going to be very important for the test in week four. Every week is set up the same. Yes, I said test because there's like three quizzes every week. That's really all the work is. I didn't mark this one as complete because it wanted us to submit a document. I'm not even sure what it was about, but it's not weight, so I don't really care about it. <laughs> week one, 95.45, which was my grade. You have your weekly overview, not weight. Um, that just shows you what you're going to learn this week. And then you have your 1.1 1 .1, uh, course resources, which is going to be a link to course notes and a bunch of different videos you can watch. And those course notes are what you can use to take the tests or the quizzes. And then you have 1.2 questions, two questions, two percent of your grade. So you really have to do like I can't open it for you guys, but all you, it's two percent of your grade. Got a hundred on it. All you have to do is ask the professor a question about what you read this week and write a little summary about what you learned this week. Have to choose a topic. It's really simple. Uh, your knowledge check. It was 20 questions, 10% of your grade. I got a 90%. I don't really remember what this week was about, but I believe it was all about mass or inertia. You have 1.4% 1.4 science in action. It was 14 questions. It was 5% of your grade. I got a hundred on that one. That was another test. It was all about everything that you learned again in your course notes from the course resources. And then you have your 1.5 diagram 5% of your grade 100% so every week you're gonna get a diagram that looks exactly like this and then that 5% of your grade here's my diagram from week one all you have to do is uh you have to do like the biggest object in motion uh gravitational projectiles and all that different stuff so that was just the my what I turned in for week one got a hundred on it if you want to use that for, as an example all right going off into week two i got a 90.91 on week two your weekly overview your course resources not going to go through that again not wait another question two percent of your grade same thing got a hundred on it as week one uh your knowledge check 20 questions 10 percent of grade got a hundred on it you have something called science in action it's another quiz this time it was 25 questions five percent got a 60 on it and then you have another diagram for week two, I got 100% on it. It was 5% of your grade. This is my diagram from week two. Um, you have to do like uh, the fours, uh, density. You just have to do the different arrows. Again, inside of your weekly overview and your course resources, your professor will show you an example of how this should be done. And then at the bottom, like right here, you have to go ahead and cite your work. Uh, I believe it was APA. Um, your professor is also going to show you how to do that if you just don't remember. Well, my professor did. He was a really great professor. Going off into week three, I got a 99.09. .09. What was going on? Okay, same two overview resources, simple. Same question, a uh, little paragraph, answer your professor a question about what you learned. That was that, 2%, 100% on that. Uh, you had a knowledge check, 20 questions, 10% of your grade, got a 98 on that quiz. And then science and action, 5% of our grade, 26 questions, got 100 on that one. And you have to do another diagram, 5%, got 100 on it. My diagram that week was, I decided to, you have to do like sound waves, wavelength, you have to represent it in a picture. I decided to go to football stadium, and then I linked it, and boom. You can also use that as an example if you like. And that was the wrap up of week three. Going off into week four, final week of this class, I got a 93.33 this week. Uh, I still have two assignments that aren't weight, I mean, aren't graded yet. So here's how I have a 93 already because I did really well on my quizzes this week. You know, you have your overview and your resources, pretty simple. Again, it works the same way as it does weeks every week. Uh, you have to ask your professor another question about what you learned this week and write a little synopsis. 2% of your grade, I believe I should get 100 on that. Uh, knowledge check, 10% of your grade, 20 questions, got a 90. Science in action, 5%, 10 questions, got 100. Diagram, 5%, I should get 100. Um, I decided to go with this photo right here. 
uh, I cited it and then I had to do like uh, gravitational forces, space and all that different stuff. So that was pretty much a wrap up of fundamentals of physical science. You have one, two, three, three tests every week and you have a diagram. Yeah. Don't forget that the first link down in the description is going to be a link to location lighting. Remember, it is also another four-week class while you're taking this one. Location lighting, fundamentals of physical science. Don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below what class you're on right now, what week, what month here at Full Sail University. Y'all, we're so close to graduation. Right now, it is what? It is November 18th. And November 23rd, 2021 is my graduation and i'm super excited so give this video a big thumbs up be sure to subscribe and see you guys in the next youtube video